Earth Energy. Take off. <laughs> Who's faster? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about my first impressions of Parrot Anafi. I mean, I'm sorry that this is not the full review yet because I have a business trip coming seriously. My luggage is right here, I have a flight in three hours, but I really wanted to share my first impressions with you. Um, let me start by saying this. Having a drone or flying a drone in New York City is such a pain in the back. I had to take the train, I went deep in Queens to this park and there was this uh, designated area, this and that. So all of that has been done. That's why I didn't have enough time to give you the full review because I have a trip coming now. So please bear with me. These are my first impressions, but I spent like two charges of flight time over there and I already had some experience with the unit before actually flying it myself because I went to the launch event and you can watch the launch event video one of the parrots actually two of the parrots engineers and project manager is telling the story of Anafi which is quite interesting but if you want to hear my first impressions let's go and do this first of all the I think the important thing is the specs here my unit weights 316 grams but I use the kitchen scale I assume that the manufacturers 320 grams is correct on many websites I see that the weight of the drone is put as 374 grams which is wrong the drone is actually 100 grams less or about what 20% plus lighter than Mavic Air and obviously everyone keeps commenting on my videos about the same thing how does it compare to Mavic Air this and that I don't have much experience with Mavic Air, but when I went to this far, far, far away park in New York City, a friend of mine came with me. He's a more experienced drone pilot. He owns a Mavic Pro, and I had the chance to directly compare them side to side. Compared to Mavic Pro, it's obviously very small, and an important thing is that it's really silent. Say, if you live in a town where it's less and less strict to fly your drone imagine you still don't want to disturb people and this tiny unit goes up and flies pretty good um, about the flight modes i think what sets this drone apart is the 4k and the hdr the hdr looked perfect on my camera even compared to the, in the same area because i was in this park so there were a lot of trees it was really impossible or even very difficult even for my gopro to differentiate between all the tones of greens and capture all the shades but this thing worked miracles at least on the screen you will see how the hdr makes the difference high dynamic range is something that i enjoy on my iphone and i think for anafi on 4k 30 frames per second it works beautifully um, about 1080p 30 frames per second i didn't have the hdr option but it could be something that will be added up or it will never come i don't know about that yet but 4k 30 is now fully functional the unit i have is a test unit and the app is actually free flight 6 which is not available publicly that's why maybe some of the functions are missing in that app and um, parrot has like two more weeks you know what 20 days so three more weeks to commercialize this and release the first customer order so i think either they'll add it or it's just left out i'm not sure but 4k 30 looked beautiful price is basically 700 compared to mavic airs 800 it's all 799 this and that but i hit that 99 business so 700 versus 800 um, the sensors are almost the same but anofi has slightly larger sensor 2.4 inch cmos versus 2.3 inch of the mavic air and anofi provides 21 megapixels compared to mavic airs 12 megapixel by the way, I will get my hands on a Mavic Air, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Then you will have the full comparison with Mavic Air and Anafi as well. Um, I will do my best to get a newest unit because this unit is rather new, but I may end up using a second-hand or used unit as well. So don't forget to subscribe. We will follow up on all of these. Okay, so my friend was impressed by the battery's uh, performance because it was like 25 minutes up in the air versus his he had more sets than i so he had to switch batteries before i do and we had almost the same flight time and of course you know what he carries around is a lot 
larger than what I carry around. It's actually here. And if you want to see other photos of this thing, go to Becker's Reviews on Instagram. I keep posting things there because, you know, it's snap and post compared to editing that we need to do here. So the battery time is good. I see that the radio link and Wi-Fi capabilities are the same. Stabilization wise, it looked pretty good to me, but uh, Mavic Air has three axis mechanical versus it's two axis plus stabilized by electronics. But I have a big trust in electronic stabilization now since I started use the GoPro Hero 6. So you decide there is this uh, interesting thing there. So video modes, let's go through the video modes. Parrot Anafi has, offers 4K at 24 frames per second in DCI and in Ultra HD it offers 24, 25 and 30 frames per second compared to Mavic Air that does not do DCI and it has Ultra HD at 24, 25 and 30 like the other one. Um, Anafi does not offer 2.7K so Anafi has full HD 1080p in 24, 25, 30, 48 and 50, 60 frames per second and I see that Mavic Air adds uh, 120 frames per second to that combo. All right, the maiden voyage of the Parrot Anafi. Take off. <laughs> Who's faster? <laughs> okay Isn't it silent? Like So I'm gonna approach the Mavic Pro. Hello friend, how are you today? Um, I think this is more than enough for first impressions video. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We are going to have an in-depth review of Parrot Anafi. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.